Hello and welcome to the workshop. Um, today I'm going to do something different. I'm going to try out some different EMI RFI filters. Um, there's a lot of no brand and none no brand names on Amazon and none of the sellers will tell you what materials are made of or any specifications. So to save you the trouble I'm going to try a few out for you. Right, our spectrum analyzer is set. Our reference point is minus 20. So whatever results we get, you've got to knock off 20. So for example, if one coil gives you minus 30, it's only really minus 10. So bear that in mind. Uh, from left to right, the scale is 10 megahertz. So we're going from DC to 100 megahertz. And from up to down, it's uh, 5D increments. So here's our first uh, EMI filter. This is a genuine TDK. Uh, this is like the big brand name. Uh, this is our reference point. So we're going to wrap uh, two turns around that. Uh, and I'm going to be doing two turns on all the uh, filters. So let's see what we get. So uh, we get a sharp attenuation up until about 10 megahertz. At 10 megahertz, it's uh, bang on minus 35. And then it starts to slowly drop until we get to about minus 43 on the lower end of the VHF band. Uh, again, because our reference is minus 20, when I say 35, it's really minus 15 dB. So bear that in mind for all our measurements. So yeah, um, pretty good drop off on HF. Um, the material um, on this particular filter is like a shiny black filter. Uh, the next one I'm going to try is an Amazon knockoff. Uh, this one... Uh, was a UXL 9mm. This is the older type. They've actually improved it, but this is the one from a couple of years ago, which, if you look, has the uh, sharp edges on it. Also, the material's not quite as shiny. Uh, so, as you can see here, it's nowhere near as good. At 10, it's 10 megahertz, it's only minus 30. The TDK was minus 35. Although the VHF, perfor VHF performance, as you can still, minus 40, is still pretty good. So that's the old type UXL. So what I'm going to try now is the newer UXLs. So these have been around for a couple of years now. So this is the new UXL, 9mm for, uh, core, as you can see here. We're going to try that one out and see what it's like. Again, the material on that was pretty shiny. Not quite as shiny as the TDK, but it's very, very close. Again, we're going to wrap two turns of wire around it and see how good it attenuates. So, it's pretty good. It's almost as good as a TDK. There's literally just one or two dB at the most in it. Again, a nice sharp attenuation up until... Uh, you know, nice curve as it were, up until 10 megahertz. Then it starts to flatten out above 10 megahertz. Again, VHF performance pretty good, minus 43-ish. So, yeah, it's very, very close to the TDK. There's literally just one or two dB in it. So, that's uh, not bad for a... What was that nine dollar filter? So we're going to try another one. Uh, this one is a GFO GFOR ton or whatever. Uh, this again is Amazon. They look the same as the UXL. Um, the only reason I'm going to do a, a few of these Amazons because all the ones I've got look identical to each other, and I've actually used them in other projects. So this is just like what remains of ones I've used. So again, two turns. The material looked exactly the same as the UXL. So let's see what we get. Yeah, uh, exactly the same. Uh, so again, just over minus 30, you know, just around minus 35-ish at 10 megahertz. Same curve on the HF band and VHF band. So yeah, so a lot of these unusual brand EMI filters are actually not too bad. Um, uh, again, as I keep using them and buying them, I will save up some other brands just to uh, see if there are any different. So, yeah, so the two I've shown you, uh, if you use them, you're going to get some pretty good results. And I think, as I say, they have improved. Yeah, again, 
yeah, the old UXL from like two years ago wasn't as good, but the new ones are a lot better. And we're just going to put the TTK back in there just for comparison. So yeah, so as you can see, a very little difference between the ferrite cores. As long as the material has got a bit of a shine to it by the looks of things, you're good to go. So hopefully that will uh, help if you're unsure whether to buy some of these cheaper EMI filters. And again, uh, thank you for watching.